You know that phone in your pocket, the one you use for literally everything? Well, it's holding a secret. And it's not about your photos or your private messages. It's something much, much deeper. A hidden part of your phone that works completely in the shadows. And believe it or not, it has more control over your device than you do. So just think about this for a sec. What if, running alongside the iOS or Android that you see and use every day, there was a whole other computer, a completely separate one, with its own brain, that you've never seen, can't control, and has its own private direct line to the outside world? Well, the thing is, that's not a what-if scenario. It's reality. This secret computer is inside pretty much every single smartphone out there. Its job is so critical that without it, that fancy device in your hand would just be a tiny tablet with no way to connect to anyone. So today, we're going to pull back the curtain on this hidden world of what's called the baseband. Okay, so what is this thing? Honestly, the best way to wrap your head around the baseband is to think of it like your phone's autonomic nervous system, right? You don't consciously tell your heart to beat or your lungs to breathe. It just happens. These systems handle all the vital stuff in the background. Well, the baseband does the exact same thing for your phone's connection to the world. So, getting a little technical, the baseband processor is a dedicated mini computer, and its only job is to manage all the radio signals. It's the part that actually talks to cell towers, figures out the connection, and handles your calls, your texts, and all your 4G or 5G data. Basically, it's what makes your smartphone a phone. It deals with all the complicated physics of radio waves, so your main operating system doesn't even have to think about it. This right here is the perfect way to picture it. You've got two separate worlds inside your phone. On one side, you have the application processor. That's the main brain running iOS or Android. It's the part you touch, the part that runs all your apps. It's your phone's conscious mind. And then on the other side, you've got the baseband. It works totally on its own, managing the network connection like a deep subconscious brain, always on, always working, and playing by its own set of rules. And listen, when I say computer, I don't just mean a simple little chip. Nope. The baseband is a full-on self-contained system. It is literally a computer within a computer, and that complexity is exactly what makes it so powerful. So let's go ahead and crack open this black box. First, on the hardware side, the baseband is completely self-sufficient. It has its own digital signal processor to turn radio waves into data, an RF transceiver that acts as the antenna and radio, and, this is the important part, its very own CPU, its own RAM, and its own storage. This means the baseband isn't just borrowing power from your phone's main processor. It has its own engine and its own gas tech, totally separate from everything else. Now, all that dedicated hardware needs software to run it, right? Well, it's got its own unique specialized operating system called firmware. And here's the kicker. This software isn't made by Apple or Google. It's developed by the companies that actually make the chips. You know, companies like Qualcomm, MediaTek, or Intel. And that makes it a proprietary, closed source black box, even to the people who made your phone. They just have to plug it in and trust that it works. So the bottom line is this. The baseband is a totally independent computer with its own hardware, its own software, and a direct, unfiltered connection to the cellular network. Your main phone can only ask for a connection. It has zero control over how the baseband actually makes it happen. And that total separation, well, that's exactly what makes it so powerful and so very vulnerable. So you've got this isolated, secret computer that nobody really understands. For a sophisticated hacker, that's like finding a hidden door into a bank vault. I mean, why bother trying to break through the front door of iOS or Android with all their security when you can just sneak in through a side entrance? The baseband is that side entrance, and it completely bypasses all the security you think you have. Your passcode, your face ID, all your app permissions, they all live on the main processor. To an attacker who gets into the baseband, they mean absolutely nothing. So how do they get in? Well, there are basically three many ways. Attackers can send specially crafted malicious data over the cell network, maybe hidden in a text message, maybe as totally invisible data, and exploit bugs in that closed source firmware. This can lead to something called remote code execution, or RCE. And for an attacker, that is the holy grail. It means they aren't just reading your data anymore, they are running the show inside that secret computer. And because the firmware is such a black box, sometimes it has hidden back doors left in by developers for testing, which can then be turned into wide open vulnerabilities. And if you think this is all just theory, something out of a movie, it's not. This exact vulnerability was weaponized by one of the most infamous pieces of spyware ever created, Pegasus. The people who created Pegasus knew that compromising the baseband was the ultimate prize. By attacking it directly, their spyware could get a terrifying level of access. 
It could literally intercept your calls and text messages at the source before they were ever encrypted or even handed off to the main operating system. It could silently track your location by talking straight to the cell network. And the most chilling part of all, this all happened in a part of the phone where your antivirus and security software couldn't even see it. But this, this is probably the most terrifying part of a baseband attack. Because its software is stored on a totally separate chip, an infection there is persistent. That means you could wipe your phone, do a full factory reset, reinstall the entire operating system from scratch, and the malware hiding in the baseband would survive it all, just waiting for the right moment to wake back up. It's a ghost in the machine that you simply can't get rid of with normal tools. So after hearing all that, I'm sure the first question that comes to mind is, okay, great, if this thing is so risky, how do I just turn it off? And unfortunately, the answer isn't that simple. Let's put it another way. When you put your phone down, you know, when the screen goes black and it's just sitting in your pocket, is this secret computer still awake? Is it still connected to the network, still listening, and still potentially vulnerable? Well, the state of your phone makes all the difference. When your phone is on and you're using it, of course, the baseband is fully active. Now, when it's in standby, screen off in your pocket, it's still active. It has to be, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't get any calls or texts. In airplane mode, the radio itself isn't transmitting, but that little baseband operating system is often still running in a low power state. The only time the baseband is truly 100% off is when your phone is completely powered down. No power, no secret computer. Now, I know this all sounds incredibly daunting, but hold on. Don't go throwing your phone in a lake just yet. You aren't completely powerless here. While you can't install your own security software on the baseband, you absolutely can take some critical, practical steps to help protect this hidden part of your device. First, and this one is completely non-negotiable, always install your system updates. Those over-the-air updates from Apple and Google, they aren't just for new emojis, they frequently contain critical security patches for the baseband firmware, fixing the exact vulnerabilities we've been talking about. Second, just be aware of your surroundings. Attacks can be launched from fake cell towers, so be cautious in unfamiliar areas. And finally, listen to your device. If your phone suddenly starts getting really hot for no reason, or the battery just starts draining like crazy, that's your phone telling you that something is working overtime when it shouldn't be. And that really brings us to the core question, doesn't it? The baseband is the perfect example of the hidden complexity packed inside the technology we rely on every single day. It's an amazing piece of engineering for sure, but it's also a powerful reminder that our devices are filled with systems we can't see and can't directly control. As our phones, our cars, and our homes all get smarter, they also get filled with more of these powerful hidden black boxes. And it forces us to ask, who or what is truly in control?